friends in this video we are going to see management of a very hard cataract let us watch this surgery this is the main incision with a 2.8 millimeter steel keratome at around 11 o'clock and now this is a side port on the left side of the main incision about two and a half clock hours away and now an air bubble is injected into the anterior chamber. Beneath this air bubble, tripan blue dye is applied over the anterior capsule. Care is taken so that the dye touches all parts of the anterior capsule. A bit of adrenaline has been applied and now the dye is nicely washed out. And now the viscoelastic substance that we are using in this case is 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. This is in higher magnification capsular axis. With the help of the uterata forceps, the capsule is torn at the center, a capsular tag is raised. This capsular tag is guided anticlockwise in such a way that we get an adequate size axis of about 6 millimeter. The rex is tended to run away to periphery at around 10 o'clock, but I could retrieve it easily. Hydrodissection is done and the nucleus is rotated. And now is the time to use the FACO handpiece to manage the nucleus. This is some more adrenaline to see if the people dilates little more. Visco is used again. And now the FACO needle goes in with its bevel down. The machine being used is Oatly Cataryx 3. some superficial lens matter is aspirated and then the handpiece is turned to make the bevel up and now watch submarine job the fecunditil goes through the substance of the nucleus travels towards the opposite equator and as it reaches near the opposite equator the chopper is used to get a nice crack. I rotate 180 degree, make one or two sculpts, go to a deeper plane, hold one hemineucleus and separate the other from it by, with the help of the chopper. One hemineucleus is subdivided into two fragments. Now this fragment is tilted and its emulsification is started from its apex. This one is also tilted. It is subdivided into two pieces. Ultrasonic energy used to emulsify this nucleus is 85 percent in continuous mode. Flow rate used is 45 ml per minute. Vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury. The other hemineucleus is divided into some fragments. The fragments are joined at the center 
I started emulsifying from the periphery and now I go from the apex of this large fragment. Now at this time the parameters are reduced, vacuum is 250 and flow rate is 25. This epinucleus is lifted off without lifting it up. If we try to hold this epinucleus, there is a high chance of posterior capsular rent. So the nucleus and epinucleus has been managed nicely little bit of visco to maintain the anterior chamber while aspirating some cortex as the simco goes through the main wound. If we do not use the visco, the anterior chamber tends to collapse. And now I go through the side port and remove the cortex from 11 o'clock, 10 o'clock and 8 o'clock. So the cortex has been managed nicely. And now I am going to use a B cartridge to implant the intraocular lens. So I need to enlarge the main wound little bit. The 2.8 millimeter wound becomes about 3 millimeter. Now this is hydro implantation of a single piece monofocal intraocular lens. The lens is dialed by the irrigating probe. Because there is no visco and if we use a Sinsky hook the antechamber will collapse. This is a bit of moxifloxacin. Now the side port is closed by hydrating corneal stroma on either side of this stab wound. Now this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber. At this time I can see some lens fibers at 6 o'clock and it is removed. And now antechamber has to be formed very nicely so that there is no leakage from any wound. The integrity of the wounds are checked, few drops of moxie is applied over the cornea and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, empathy and great surgical competence.